What's going on guys? Welcome to How to Start Your Business in the Next 30 Days or Less. My name is Brian Arigbu, part-time six-figure earner through creative real estate investing. But in this video, what I want to do is I want to share with you how you can start to find customers for your new business. Okay? Uh, and also, I'm going to kind of get in along uh, the lines of if you want to get into real estate, I'm going to show you how you can start with little money and no credit. But first, a prerequisite, before you start trying to get customers, you want to make sure that your product or your service that you offer is actually good. You want to make sure that it's good and it can actually solve the problem or it actually fulfills a need. You don't want it to be something that you care about or you think would be a good idea because it's going to be hard to sell. Okay. So once you have that, what you want to do is you want to go and find where your potential customers are, are, are uh, hanging out at. Are they online? Do they like Twitter? Do they like Instagram? Does, do they like Facebook? Uh, I know a lot of people say, I don't do the social media, but it is urgent in this uh, climate that we live in right now. Uh, you can't get left behind. You got to get hip to uh, what people are using. So find out where they're at, okay, and get in front of them. Where do they hang out physically? Okay, what what uh, malls do they go to? What, what um, I guess, hangout spots do they go to? You wanna be able to uh, get in front of them e either digitally or uh, physically and present what you have, okay? And the better you can communicate how you can solve their problem or how you can fulfill their need, the easier the sale is gonna be. The resistance people get when they can't sell something is because the buyer doesn't clearly uh, understand the value in what they're buying or they don't think it's more valuable than the money that you're asking for. Okay, so get very good, uh, make sure you have a very good product or service, find your, uh, your uh, customers on the social media platforms that they hang out on. Check them out in the comments and everything like that. You're gonna see people complaining about different things. Um, and uh, get in front of these people in YouTube comments, all of these places, okay? And that's when you can start to present your product and your service, okay? Um, another thing, I can't tell you how important it is to use old strategies. One of the old strategies is Letting people sample something for free. Uh, you remember in the old days, people used to give out their mix uh, CD and they said, hey, just give me 10 seconds, check it out, and hope that you would like the music and support the artist. The same thing when you go to the grocery store and they have like the little samples with the toothpicks. Uh, they hope that you like it and then uh, they'll tell you, oh, the package is right here. All you need to buy this and this and put it in the microwave for 10 minutes. This is the same thing with your product or service. Um, don't be afraid to give someone a free product or a free service and hope that they will like it and purchase. And if you have a satisfied customer, this is the gold. If you have a satisfied customer, the best form of marketing of all is word of mouth. But you can't get word of mouth until you have a previous satisfied customer. So that's how you find customers for your new business. Make sure you have a great product or service. Go and do your research and find out where they're hanging at, okay? And start to spark these type of conversations. When you find out their need or their problem, present how you solve that. Uh, from there, if you have resistance, don't be afraid to give something away for free. And don't be afraid to ask for a review or uh, sharing your product or service with other people. Okay, so that is how you find customers.